Okay, when I originally began this video, I was going to surprise Jason and do a whole DIY and make over his TV tray while he was gone. Insert clip here. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am super excited because we're gonna try and surprise Jason. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so Jason is gone today fishing with a good friend of ours. And I don't know if you've seen in past videos, but he constantly has this ugly TV tray out. And it's just really unattractive. I went to Michael's and I bought these little like wooden slats of wood at Michael's. They sell them there. I'll try and link it down below. I don't know if it's something that you can purchase online, but I will try and link it so you know what they are. They're super thin. And um, so it should be really easy for me to cut without using a miter saw, so anyone should be able to do this. I just need to be able to do like a 45 degree angle and just ch -ch 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 and saw it in half. So what I'm gonna try and do, in order to make this pretty and me not feel so irritated with it sitting out all the time, I know, silly, but I just like things to look cute. And so we're gonna totally make this trash into a treasure. I was cracking up, but I was looking online because there's like so many different things. There's like trash to treasure and fixer to fabulous and rags to riches. And I don't know what we're gonna call this, but it's definitely getting a little makeover. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before I beat you with this stick. <laughs> but let me show you my idea. I don't even know if it's gonna work. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh, here we go. And now, <laughs> I've come to my senses. <laughs> no, actually, I'm gonna show you how you can use this with a saw. But I started doing that, and I'll be honest, I just don't have the muscles for it. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna use his miter saw. And so if you don't have one of those available to you, then you can definitely use a hand saw. It is possible. Um, so I waited for him to get here so he could help me get it out because it was heavy. And so now he knows about his surprise, but he's very excited that I'm doing this for him. So I am going to get this pattern taped down so I can figure out how I want to cut it. Okay, so to begin with, I am going to make a herringbone pattern. And all you do for that is you just take your first board and then you line them up to where their edges are together like that. And so that is going to be the beginning of my pattern. And I went and I just grabbed some, this is actually painter's tape, you can use whatever you have. And I'm just gonna hold them together right now so I can start to see my pattern because my boards are kind of top heavy. And so, so I can start to get my pattern going. So then you just put another one and another one like that. This pattern comes together really easy. <laughs> Except for when your tape goes all the way over there. because I want these triangles on the sides and at the bottom down here. So I can, you know, it'll be a little bit visually appealing. Okay, I flipped my herringbone pattern over and I went ahead and put a little bit of tape on the back just for a little extra reinforcement. And then this is where you can do this in one of two ways. If you have a handsaw, you could draw your lines and then cut. You could do this where you're cutting one piece at a time, but I was having the worst time trying to get my line straight when I was hand sawing because it is so hard for me. So what I'm gonna do is, I now I have this all taped together. Um, I'm gonna have Jason, he's just gonna and make this the perfect shape, which is why it's so nice that he's here to help me. <laughs> and so, um, I'm just gonna do that and so then we'll go from there and we'll get the little triangles made on the corners and then we'll get this um, attached to the TV tray and then we're gonna paint it. Yeah, I'm gonna be the first to admit that this is in no way one of my best DIYs but if you knew the effort that I went through to get this complete I would definitely get an A for effort.
Okay, we decided we're gonna go ahead and glue it down now before we do the last cut because we feel like it's kind of moving on us and we don't wanna mess it up. Okay, and now we just put another board on top and we're just gonna clamp it down and let it set for a couple hours and then we'll come back to it. Okay, oh, we got a helper today. We got a helper. <laughs> Mister wants to see what I'm doing. Okay, so this little coffee table is from my basement and as you can see, it is very ugly. It's got lots of scratches and so you know how we just did the pattern on the TV tray, so I think what, Thank you. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna do straight across white boards because the theme down in the basement is kind of beachy and it's got a white entertainment center down there. And so I think I'm gonna do white boards across it and just glue them down and screw them in and then paint this and make it look so much better. Do you agree? <laughs> I'm just trying to show you guys some fun, easy, quick DIYs that you can do to just kind of spruce things up and make it look better. You could get really industrial here and try and do this with a handsaw, but I'm totally cheating. <laughs> Okay, and now we're just gonna cut all the boards the same length so they'll all match across the table. Okay, so we got all the boards cut, and now we're gonna glue this down and let this sit, but it's gonna look so cute. All right, moment of truth, taking the clamps off. And then now we're just gonna finish the little trims on the little triangle pieces that we put on. Okay, I brought both projects down to the basement. They turned out pretty nice. This one was a little bit of a pain. I'm gonna paint this and I'm gonna paint this. I'm a little torn because I actually like it white, but yet I have a really cute idea for it. So, ah, I don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned for what we do. Okay, so to begin with, I've decided I'm gonna paint the lower half of this gray. And then I think I'm gonna do the top and the pattern like a gray white since it'll match my living room. And the good news is I already had this gray paint. So it didn't cost me any money. Okay, while the bottom half is drying, look at my little helpers over here. I'm gonna move on over to here and I'm actually gonna switch and I'm gonna paint the bottom white and the top gray because I have something that's gonna go on the top that won't show up if it's white. So, you know, I love to make more work for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and do the gray first since I already have the brush. All gray and ready to go.
I'm going to attempt to do these pieces different colors, but <laughs> I don't know if I can get them smooth enough, so we'll see. We'll try. Okay, so here's the part in my DIY that I'm wondering, why did I put these boards on here? Why didn't I just tape off and just paint this like this? Why did I think I had to go to all the trouble to put the boards on? So I'm going to tell you right now, if you guys decide to make over your TV tray, you do not need to put these boards on there. You could totally just tape this off. Save yourself a step. I made so much work for myself for no reason. Okay, the first coat is done, and I'm gonna let that dry, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges gray. I was a little iffy, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, while the first coat of that one dries, now it's back to the second coat of this one so we can get ready to get this one done. Okay, I've got two coats on it. I don't know if I wanna do any more. It's not perfect, but I'm kind of liking it. I'm trying to decide if there's anything else I should do to it to make it look a little better. Hmm. In the meantime, we're gonna move back over here and I'm gonna paint the bottom half white and then I have this really cool uh, kind of like vinyl stuff that we're gonna put on the top. Okay, I am just cutting out the part that I'm gonna use, that I think I'm gonna use. So I really like these flowers, and I think I'm gonna use the other half up here. Oh, I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do something over here. I think it turned out really cute. I like it with a little tray on there. It matches my room so nice. Yay! Oh boy. Am I gonna regret this? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about the glare. We'll see. Okay, well at least this looks better in the living room <laughs> than the old ugly one. We'll take it. <laughs> Do you like your tray? 